happy Monday or I guess I ought to say happy Tuesday because we aren't going to put this up until Tuesday because no one in their right minds would be watching this on happy Monday because Monday's a holiday I hate holidays it doesn't mean anything good to me because I keep working I guess that's okay on Labor Day though, right? Well, let's get on with it. Last week I wrote a story about the second MPCH project. Some of you might know it as Seaport Marina. It's that disaster at 2nd Street and PCH. Been trying to redevelop it for decades, literally decades. They finally come up with a plan that is inside of the current CDIP zoning. They don't need a single conditional use permit. It should just sail through. And I kind of said that in the story. So naturally, I get a comment. And the comment is, oh, trust me, we're opposed to it. We just haven't had time because the city's giving us so many other things to oppose. We're fighting this. We're fighting that. We're suing them over parking. But, you know, Trust me, we'll be there to oppose the plan come Thursday at Planning Commission. I don't understand. I just don't understand. How do you wake up in the morning and the first thing you think about is, what can I oppose today? What can I say I'm unhappy about today? The first knee-jerk reaction is, what? You want to change something? Come on now. How do you live like that? How do you think like that? Wouldn't it be nice if they woke up just one morning, just one morning, and said, I wonder how I can help make the city better today. Not stop the city from doing anything today, but how can I make it better today? You want better housing? You want affordable housing? Ah, no. You'd have to have some parking for that. You want some green space? No, no. You have to have somebody to pay for that. No, I don't know. I'm not going to change them. I know I'm not going to change them. But every once in a while, I just like to give them a little slap in the head and say, stop bitching for a change. Okay, go ahead, bitch. Thanks. <laughs>